Today we are mixing fun and function. We're going to decorate our planner and then plan it out so that your month can go smoothly. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm excited for this video. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to decorate and stop and pause and plan as I go. You can follow along and use my planning and decorating technique. We've got a big spread this time. It's bigger than what I'm used to and I love decorating. So we're gonna have some fun. As you can see, there's lots of fun decorations. So let's get right into it. First, I'm going to start off by decorating my monthly spread. Now, when I have a busy month, I like to have the monthly spread on my desk. I can look at it at a glance whenever I need to. Now, this is obviously a very old planner. It's an old Erin Condren. It's um, a hardcover without the coils. I really like it, but I didn't like it as an everyday planner. But I love that it opens flat and I can use it when I have a busy month. It's too big for me to take with me, but having it open like this on my desk the entire month, to have my month at a glance is really helpful. So I'm going to cover this up, put June 2022. I found this page that I haven't used where the month starts on a Wednesday. August 2018 also started on a Wednesday, but I've already decorated this one. And that was for the same purpose. So this I'm going to do for June 2022. So I'm going to get started. So grab your planner and decorate along with me. Okay, now that I have a base decoration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to brainstorm all the things that I'd like to do in June. I'm gonna put them, I started already, I'm gonna put them on this piece of scrap paper and then I'm going to transfer, this is basically my master to-do list for June and I'm going to transfer it to this little note section and I've put a little to-do sticker there. I'm going to come up with as much as I can think of off the top of my head and I can always add to it later as the month goes on.
The next step, once my to-do list is done, I plug in all the dates that I have something going on, appointments or events or anything else. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, so it wasn't recording while I did some of those, but I have everything that's fixed, any sort of date, anything that's happened. There's a bike competition, Mother's Day here in Luxembourg, Father's Day in Canada, etc., etc. So now if there's any decoration that I want to do with any of these events or appointments, etc., then I will do that now. So now that those days are decorated, I can see where I want to add a little more color or a little more decoration. Maybe it's not very balanced. So I see that this is kind of bland, maybe here. So I'm just going to pull out some stickers and have some fun. If you are enjoying this video so far, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will be back next week with a peek into the craft of the next treasure box. It's gonna be really fun, I'm so excited. It's cute, it's got paper and yeah, you'll love it. So make sure you come back next week. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Okay, let's get back into the video. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. Of course, I will add more things as as they come up here and I'll fill in what's going on as the month happens. So let's review quickly what I did. I changed the date from November 2017 to June 2022. I covered up the holidays that were listed with these little labels. The different moons were covered up by these lemon slices and the sun. I put some washi and some stickers along the last days of May and the first days of July. And I love these two little squares. I just decided that they needed to be decorated. And so I put a couple labels here and some other stickers along with a base that I could layer on top of. If you want to get more into the function and how to plan then you can go and watch this video here. If you're looking for more decorating tips then I will send you to this video. Next week I will be back with a peek at the craft that'll be in this current treasure box and that is flight of fantasy. Everything in this box has to do with taking flight, going after your dreams, but inspired by all of our favorite creatures that fly. And the week after that will be a full unboxing. The card is open now and you can go subscribe to the treasure box right now. There's a link in the description below. When you subscribe, a box will arrive on your doorstep every two months with a variety of items to help you take time for yourself. There's always stationery because, uh, well, we love paper. There are self-care items, something for yourself, 
There's a gift, like I said, there's a craft, and there are treats. There's always two tea bags and something yummy for you to just take a moment for yourself and treat yourself. If this sounds good, you can subscribe at the link in the description below. But if you're still not sure, you can check out our past boxes page, either to get an idea of what's in the boxes, or you can go ahead and order one of the past boxes. They will be shipped to you right away and you don't have to wait until the end of June. The next box, the Flight of Fantasy box, will ship at the end of June. June, but you can get a pass box whenever you like and I will also put the link for those in the description below. Let's have a closer look at this spread. I mainly use the summer fun product line from Paper House. So there's these paper clips. These boxes came from the sticker book. There's also the sticker flakes. So those are these watermelon and also some of the washi is from Paper House. So this blue one and this green one here. I love these little tiny stickers. They're great for sprinkling in and adding to the design like these hearts here, the lemons and the sun and these little flip-flops and the picnic basket. I will link any of the products that I've used that are available still in the description below. I've got a few little clusters here and these boxes here as well as on top of this washi. It's great to have sort of a base like these boxes or the green box that's already printed in the planner. Washi boxes, those are also great for layering on top of. It's a base that you can build on and since stickers and washi is thin, it's not gonna add a lot of bulk to your planner. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, next week we'll, I'll be back with the craft from the treasure box and we are going to put the craft together and it's really cute. I'm really excited. So make sure you subscribe and come back for that. You can subscribe here by clicking on my little face. Here are two more videos that I think you will like. If you made it this far, leave me the sun emoji in the comments below. Have a fantastic day and happy planning.